<laughs> hey, how you doing, everyone? Uh, so, the new year may have swung for some of you already. For me, I still have five hours to go. But I wanted to create this video just to wish everyone an awesome new year. Thank you for all of the stuff that happened this year. There's so many of you that have been supporting me, and lately we've been going crazy, like growing like crazy again. And it's been. It's been phenomenal. It's been a heck of a ride. Um, you know, when we first started doing Starbound at the beginning of the year, things grew crazy fast, and then they slowed down a lot because I didn't do the Starbound content as much anymore. And my reasoning for that, now that I think about it, didn't really make any sense. It, it really didn't. Like, my logic behind it was, well, oh, it's just going to break a bunch of my videos and blah, 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 blah. I chose to start doing stuff for the beta. So, like, I look back at me doing that, and I really wish I hadn't. I really, really wish I hadn't. Like a lot of people, um, a lot of people left the channel and it was harder to get new people coming into the channel because once you kind of create an itch or a, a niche or, or just a thing for yourself on YouTube, this would be like if Markiplier stopped doing horror, just completely stopped doing horror. No more horror videos ever at any point. That's a hard thing for us to view Markiplier is doing, like stopping horror. Like his content's great, I love his content altogether, but it would be like him stopping doing that. And that's kind of what I did. And I learned the real hard way that I can't do that. Honestly, playing Starbound again has been really fun. I've really enjoyed it. And one thing that I, I realized is that this is the beta. It's not like it's gonna stop. This beta is gonna be going through multiple phases. It's only in its first phase right now. It's got other phases to go through. So, in short, I wish I hadn't stopped doing Starbound, but it was a learning experience, and that's the way I look at it. Do I regret doing it? Yeah, but not really, because I learned. Like I said, I, I learned a lot about YouTube, I learned a lot about what happens with viewership. It, it, was, a, it was a great experience. It, well, <laughs> it wasn't a great experience, but it, it, was, it was something to learn from. So, going forward into the new year, Starbound is not going to be going away again. They would have to stop development on it, and even then, I would still be doing the occasional video on it. It's just, I cannot stop, I can't stop the Starbound, and that's, I'm okay with that, because there's so much to do in this game. Imagine when this game goes stable. When the game goes stable, even if the developers stop working on it, there's still going to be a crazy amount of mods. And the potential for Starbound is so much greater than games like Terraria, which are closely compared to Starbound, and I agree with 100%. They are very similar. Are they the same? Obviously not. So, even if the game, you know, just stopped being developed, there's still mods and whatnot that I can show you guys and do, still do Let's Plays and all that kind of stuff. My roommate's actually going to be getting into Starbound and we're going to be doing a multiplayer Let's Play. Multiplayer, multiplayer, oh, a Wii Play. There we go. It's a Wii Play, not a Let's, a let's Play. It's a Wii Play. So, um, there's a lot to look forward to. One of my biggest goals for the new year, and with how we're growing, that might actually be pretty attainable pretty quick, is to hit 10,000. I want to hit 10,000 subscribers next year. You know, after that, depending on how things go, I'll set another goal and I'll obviously, I'll create a video for that because 10,000 is a huge milestone. I know a lot of people have been asking, like, how can they donate and how can they do all these wonderful things that I am honestly flattered and touched that anyone even, even would even think of. Because while I enjoy making my content, I don't feel that my content is like up to par with a lot of a lot of channels. And the fact, so I, so I, I mean, what I'm trying to say there is that I'm hard on myself. I'm not saying that my content is poop. I'm just saying that I'm very hard on myself when it comes to making my content. So the fact that someone even the thought even crosses your mind to give me money for something I'm giving you for free is... It's heartwarming. It's honestly heartwarming and it's amazing that someone would even think to do such a thing for me. And it's amazing, honestly. So, right now, I'm not, you know, I'm not even worried about donations or anything like that. I just want to get the channel to a place where we can do all kinds of great things because I really want to do charities. I mean, rather than donate to me, I would always appreciate that people would donate to a charity instead. We're doing fireworks out here already. There's like the... I, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but they're doing fireworks already. But anyways, I can hear the whistle. Um, that's... <laughs> that's really distracting. Every time I start talking, it starts firing up again. 
Anyways, I'm totally getting sidetracked. What was I talking about? Oh, uh, charities. I'm actually going to do a lot of animal charities. Um, a lot of people do like charities to support uh, cancer and all that kind of stuff. And we're going to do those. But I'm actually going to do a lot of charities that support animals. Because in my life, I've had an animal at every point in my life. I've had multiple animals at every point in my life. At one point, I actually bred bearded dragons. Like, I, I bred them. We, we had a couple of uh, mates, and we bred batches of them. So, uh, and that's actually something I hope to get into again when, um, if YouTube becomes my job. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I've always had an animal in my life, so I appreciate animals a lot. I love animals. I appreciate them. A lot of people will say, no, well, animals don't do anything for you. They're just a sinkhole. Well, kids are sinkholes for 18 years. I mean, <laughs> is, that, is that really a valid argument? Um, live streams is something that comes up a lot because there's a lot of you that really want to come to my live streams but can't make it because of the time I do it. Unfortunately, my schedule for work for my other job, um, the one that pays the bills, is... A very weird schedule it's a third shift schedule that covers the weekends like no one wants that everyone's Monday through Friday you work first shift one and done I work a really weird schedule so for me to do live streams it ends up being on all these weird really weird times but what I'm gonna try doing is doing like a live stream on Tuesday during the day a live stream on Wednesday at night or like a live stream on Tuesday during the day and a live stream at night and just basically like cut the live stream in half so that I can still do videos and then on top of that try and do a weekend live stream on Saturday or Sunday that's later at night that people can also make it to basically trying to make it so that more of you can come to my live streams because it's always a blast and a lot of a lot of jokes that are on this channel come from my live streams like um, purple my dislike of purple that came from a live stream. Uh, Camo butt. I'm sure people have seen, may have seen those comments. I don't know. Um, that came from live streams. So there's a lot of stuff that comes from the live streams, and I want people to be able to come to those because it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. And I enjoy having you guys with me. So um, redoing my live streams is something that I'm still looking into, and I've come a lot closer to coming up with a solid idea. But I have to think about how I want to do the videos too because I don't want to slack on those. It's just, a, it's it's so much to think about and so much to do when I have a real life job and I'm doing this because a lot of people look at YouTube as kind of like a hobby. I look at it as potential. I look at it as fun. I look at it as something that I really enjoy doing. Um, a little known fact about me is that I actually used to do acting. I went to an acting school. I went to uh, John, Robert John Robert Powers in Scottsdale. Uh, out here in Arizona and I loved it um, unfortunately I didn't stick with it but I loved it I had a lot of fun doing entertainment I was really comfortable in front of a camera and I love people making people laugh like in my family I love making people laugh and it's just a blast doing that so with what I'm doing now I get to be in front of a camera and I get to make people laugh. Well, it, it, not always laughter. I mean, like a lot of a lot of my videos are guides and whatnot. But I get a chance to make people laugh, and it, it's like the best of both worlds. So I do. While I look at YouTube as kind of like a, it, it's not like I want it to be my job so hard that I'm going to forget that it's people that make me exist. But I do want to get to the point where I can live on YouTube and. And yeah, so I mean, a lot of people have been asking how they can help me, and honestly, camera, stop it. Thank you. Um, what you guys can do to help me is share my channel with your friends. If your friends enjoy me, um, you know, maybe hopefully they'll subscribe, um, like my videos, share my videos. That's really the best thing you can do to help me is just to share my videos. Don't 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 be annoying about it. Don't just put it in every place you can think of. But sharing my videos, showing them to friends, that helps immensely. And that is what drives a lot of growth in a lot of channels. Because I, I do a lot of things on the side to kind of try and help grow things. But it's not to the degree that an entire community of people can do to help. So if you want to help, don't honestly don't worry about donating to me. I appreciate it and I will do it down the line. But right now, I just want to, I want to grow. I want to expand into the great unknown. So that's the best way that you guys can help me, honestly. 
And uh, I've been rambling for, well, according to this 12 minutes, I'll probably cut some, but uh, I've been going on for 12 minutes. So honestly, it just comes back to Happy New Year and here's to an amazing 2015, here's to an amazing 2014. Uh, things are looking great, you guys, and I couldn't be happier right now. So thank you so much for all your support and love and amazingness. <laughs> all right, everyone. Take care.